Hello everybody, my name is Ian and today we are playing Alright, sorry about that. Welcome guys to Doom 3, uh, no 2. This is 2, I'm gonna be doing, playing Doom 3 later, on a later date. Yeah, this is Doom 2. I mean, not Doom, Doom 1, the first Doom in the series. Is okay. Now, basically, the game, part of the game, kill demons, it's like Doom 3. Yeah, 3. Um, I've been confused a little bit. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna be playing this game because I want to. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I had to fix some. Um... Okay, so basically, in the time period, this time period, uh, this was a highly. This was the mo in the time period of this when this was made. This was the most popular uh, game, actually. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Okay, so this was the most popular downloaded game, even more popular than uh, Windows 95. It's pretty amazing. I know there's a secret right there. I think I just have to keep going. So, basically, um,. It is a really good game. It might be have old and be crappy uh, textures for this time period, but it was really good back then. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing this. Uh, all the way through, I hope. Um, I'm going to be unediting it except for those two times because I forgot to set the controls. So yeah, um, let's get down to business. The shotgun is like mildly overpowered, and as you can tell, this game is bloody as hell. But it is super fun. So yeah, um, I love the game, there's like many easter eggs, and it's super fun. I'm going to be playing Doom 3 on a later date, as soon as I it's on sale, and the Steam sale. Because I was thinking on getting the game and playing through it. I already tried pirating, don't worry. Um, but it didn't work. Of course, because why would it work with pirating? Pirating's bad, that was a joke. So, I'm getting back my shotgun. Um, if you guys know of any secrets whatsoever... Um, please let me know. Here. 
So, I, I think I should add mods, but I'm not planning on it. <clears throat> I know that did, uh, did this. So, I know a couple secrets in the game. I don't know all of them. Like, that. So, I got this game for like, super cheap. Like, maybe five bucks. That's like three to five dollars, I don't know. But it is a really good game. I highly recommend it to all you people. So, let's go. Nope, oh, didn't want to do that. So, this game is super fun to play. Um, I really do hope you people like it. So, anyways, um, I'm going to tell you guys a story. And this story is about me. Um, so, one day, I was, uh, walking in. I was walking, um, down the street, right? So, I was walking down the street, and, uh, uh, all of a sudden, I walked, I saw a person, actually, just that, that isn't the right story. Here's the right one. So, one day, I was in Glenrose, the place that flooded like a crazy, um, so, I was uh, running... Uh, there is a really cool, um, park there that you get to jump on rocks and all sorts of cool stuff. And, um, basically, um, I saw a girl laying on on the ground, so I went to go see if she was hurt or anything. And what I got for seeing if someone was okay was something like a slap. Uh, and then she said, why did you get here sooner? And I was thinking, what, what is this girl talking about? I don't know her. So, and she said my, uh, her, that her leg was, uh, it, she thought, think she sprung her ankle. So I put her, uh, grabbed her arm and slouched her onto uh, her, slouched it onto my shoulder. And then all of a sudden, her mom came. It's like, is everything going okay? Shut up, mom! Um, I'm like, 
What the fuck is going on? She says, my mom ruined it. I wanted you to take me back again. I don't even know you. How am I supposed to? You didn't, what? You don't know me? I think she said something about being the most popular girl in her school. I was saying, does it look like I can? I thought you were majorly injured, so I was worried. I thought she came because you liked me. But, yeah, I mean, you're pretty and all, but yeah, not really. I'm more of a caring person than a... Yeah. So, why are you doing this? And then she blushed like a freaking... Uh, her face was completely red with, uh, some reason, like, she liked me a lot, and I don't know how, but she probably saw me doing something good or something. Okay, that guy just blew himself up, that was kind of sad. And, um, so I just handed her over. She actually did sprain her ankle. Uh, cheerios to you. Hope you feel better. Hope you, that, that, uh, sprained ankle is healed. Um. So, I don't- I didn't get her name, so I'm, I'm just gonna call her Sally. Sally, um, was run, just- has actually liked me. I- it's like the first thing I've ever heard someone say. And I- at that time I was thinking, what the fuck? I don't even know you. I never got her name. I'm just calling her Sally because that's all I know. Because I usually don't pay attention. So, yeah. I was, I had no idea who this chick was, and she likes me a lot. Like, she only even tried to kiss me once. Now, I was running around the camp like an idiot, trying to get away from her. And, uh, uh she, she, uh, was fine, don't worry. She was able to walk. It wasn't a bad spray, it was just... Was it the best uh, condition all her life could be in? So yeah, it took her like uh, around five minutes to heal. No, not five minutes. Five hours. Five days. I can't talk. It took her five days to heal. Is there something I could do down here? Uh, and. Uh, she was going around chasing me all of a sudden. Oh, that's okay. That's nice. Oh, my hands not suit. So now I can just hop down here and go here. So all this was. Oh, she would just stop. Oh, she uh, she wouldn't stop talking to me at all. She wouldn't leave me alone. She'd knock at my on my window at night. Super annoying. Are you gonna come down or are we gonna be here all day? Oh, I screwed this up. So, I was wandering around. Let's run back, see if it's down. Okay, and all of a sudden, I was, every day, I was getting tackled by this chick. And it was previous Oh, chain gun, cool. So, basically, every day I was being chained, it's like, kinda like chowder, if you've ever heard that. It's been a while since that's ever been even heard of. Um, the series ended, it's a good, it was a good show, but yeah. Um, so, it was, um, it was me running around saying, like, come here, I'm gonna give you a kiss. I'm like, no, I don't like you, I don't even know you. I never learned her name. I legitimately never learned her name. And, uh, yeah, that's basically my experience at, uh, Clam Rose. Me running around, scared. Only days I got off were, like, I don't know, like, the days that before I left, because she had to leave. Oh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? I mean, probably this way. Um, so, yeah.
uh, that's basically the, that's the story. Um, I like that I'm talking to a computer. That's what I do every day, I talk to the computer. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the story, uh... Oh, now I see what I needed that for. Ow, 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 ow. Can I even get up there? Okay. Um... This is an easter egg, by the way. This easter egg is supposed- it, in the earlier ages there is a file of this map. If loaded properly, it turns into a not- it's actually right here. If you look at it at a certain angle, it's a Nazi sign. Why is that? Because in the earlier ages of the game, it, it, it is a reference to the first game- the first- one of the first games they made, which was named- um, yeah, it was called, uh... Oh, that's it for this episode, but it was called Wolfenstein 3D. Um... Let's try to get this. Perfect. Alright, that's it for this episode. I hope you leave, leave a like, comment down below. Subscribe to come on Dirt Force today. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!